Hi guys, thank you for showing up again for this video. In this video, we are going to be installing CentOS Frames 9 on a VMware Workstation Pro 17. And also, if you need to know how to get VMware Workstation Pro 17, you can just click on this video right over here, and that should take you to a tutorial where I teach you how to download it and to install it. So we are going to hit the road running. First thing we'll do is we would go on uh, the CentOS Stream website and go ahead and download operating system so the website is centos.org in one of my previous videos which you can still watch again over here i was telling you about the evolution of centos uh you can watch that video and you can see more about how we got to where we are today so when you go to centos.org or centos.org however you chose to call it uh we'll click on centos stream and we'll come here to centos stream this is the version version 9 and maybe you're watching this in the future again it's gonna be the same thing download the iso file i'm gonna click on 9. oh it's already there 9 and uh yeah we can see the x8664 i'll click on that and it's offering to download this file for me i will download this image i'll dump it straight to my desktop and i'll hit save and the download has begun as soon as the download is done, we will proceed to begin the installation. It's 10 gigabyte of file. So depending on your speed, it could take some time. It could be faster. Uh, and if you don't have the best speed, you might consider using a torrent to download that. There are many other options. But that is the straightforward way of proceeding with it. And if you look carefully here, you would see that the end of life for this software is uh, 2027. So this 2024, I can still use it for uh, about three years and I'll still have support for this software. So let's uh, wait for the download to complete and then we'll begin the installation. Our download just completed and now we're going to begin with the installation. Um, we're going to go ahead and launch our VMware Workstation Pro. And if you remember, I explained to you in the past or I showed you a video of how to install VMware Workstation Pro. Uh, you can go ahead and look here on the right and you'll be able to see the link to that video and you can watch it if you need. Uh, this OS is completely free. New virtual machine. Uh, let's go typical recommended. Next, I'm going to browse uh, and I'm going to choose the set to strip line. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to put in my name. Okay, hybrid. And then next thing, my username. I'm going to call it THP. Password. I'm gonna hit next. And then I'm gonna call it a uh, T9. I wanna call mine T9 stream. 20 gig is fine for me, storage. And we find ourselves here. I wanna customize these. And I want to give it a little more RAM. I have 64 gig of RAM, so I can be um, generous with my RAM. I'm going to give it 4 gig of RAM. I'm going to move into the CPU. I'm going to give it about 2 CPU, 2 cores, uh, 2 processors. And uh, there are also 2 cores per processor. So I'm going to hit uh, close. For my network adapter, I'm going to want to use the bridge. That's fine if you use NAT, but I prefer using bridge. Hit close. And I'm gonna hit finish. As soon as I hit finish, this is checked. I'm gonna power on the virtual machine. And the power on begins, ladies and gentlemen. Powering on. this phase we have to choose our language it could take some amount of time to get here 
because initially based on the information you provided like your name and the name of the machine is going to try to automatically do that installation but it's going to somehow fail in between you don't have to stop anything and you find yourself on the screen this is what we want so i'm going to hit continue my language is english And I'm going to choose a destination. I want to install it here. See, it's already checked. You don't have to do anything but click done. And as soon as you click done, everything's going to be good here. Good. But now we have to give a root password. What's the root password? The password of the main administrator of this computer. Uh, mine, I'll put it. And I'll leave it at this level and I'll hit done. And I'll come to create the user. So let me show you what I just did. I came here and I click user creation, click there. I'm gonna put my name. And then I put THP as my username. I'm put my password. Then I'm gonna hit done. Excellent. The next thing that I'm going to do is, if you come here, you see the software selection. I'm doing a uh, server with GUI, and that's fine. You don't have to change anything about that. If you click here, you can change if you want to put it as a normal server, but leave the server with GUI because we can always switch to something else. Or there's also minima installed if you want a very tiny piece of Linux, but Red Hat Linux. So let's leave it on server with GUI, so we can have the graphic user interface. Yes, some of you doing this are new. Then I'm going to hit uh, begin installation. And the installation has begun. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll get back to you as the installation completes. The installation is completed took quite some time about 15 to 20 minutes a sure but anyway that's what uh, it, it, that's done I'll go ahead and reboot the system right now we can see the installation is completed and i have to log in with my credentials I don't need it at all. But here we are in CentOS uh, Streams uh, 9.0. Um, from now onward, we are going to begin learning and doing a lot with Linux, and we will be using this operating system or Fedora, whatever works for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it helped you out. And uh, please give me a subscribe. Thank you. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.